Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and today I want to talk about Bungie's new game, or I guess reboot, or I guess re-something called Marathon. As far as we know, there's no like tagline like Marathon, the extraction shooter hero FPS game, or anything like that. But as somebody who has played Bungie games a lot in the past, you know, starting with Halo, all the way through Destiny 2 thousands of hours just sunk into their titles. I will say that I was somewhat hopeful for Marathon. I love the Marathon franchise. I think it's a very cool universe, even if it's in the same universe as Halo, if you guys haven't seen all that kind of lore. Make sure you go check out like Hidden Xperia. He makes great videos, so um, you can see how it kind of ties in. Anyways, so I was excited for what Marathon could be. I learned as with everybody else said, it was going to be an extraction shooter, and I'm personally not huge into those games. You know, Tarkov never really sunk its claws into me, but I was like, you know what, I would still give it a chance because I feel like it's not just going to be an extraction shooter with how Bungie works. I had higher hopes, and then they talked about how it was like PvP focused, and you know, it's going to be good. It's everything that Destiny 2's PvP Crucible stuff is not. And Christopher Barrett was the one that was in charge of it. And I do appreciate all the work that he's done in the past. Uh, pretty much my favorite expansions in Destiny have been done by him in some lead role or another. And since that announcement, there has been a lot of news surrounding Marathon and Bungie. As you all know, Bungie was bought by Sony. There's been questions about how will... Bungie sustained both Destiny 2 and Marathon at the same time, even though it looks like Destiny 2 is going to be wrapping up by the time Marathon releases. There was a delay to Marathon. It's supposed to come out in 2025 now. But there's been rumors circulating recently that Destiny 3 is now going to be a thing. And personally, I never thought that Bungie was going to be done with Destiny in, you know, any stretch of the imagination, just because I feel like they make so much money off of that. They have a foundation with fans that will always want to play Destiny. So I can't imagine that they would just throw away all of that just to put all their eggs in one basket with Marathon. I know there's other games that they're currently trying to make, do, whatever. But the thing is, is I can't imagine Sony was like, yeah, you guys are just not going to make Destiny stuff anymore. We're just going to get rid of that, that check in the mail. I will say it does feel like the Destiny universe does have to kind of downsize with Marathon coming out, but I guess we'll see. I mean, Marathon could come out and be awful, and they completely pivot back to doing Destiny. Who knows? But going hand-in-hand hand with that, it seems that Marathon is under a new regime. Joe Ziegler from Riot, I believe that's how you say his last name, took over for Christopher Barrett, and Barrett has been removed, but he will remain at Bungie as of right now. But there's no reason why. It's very unclear why Barrett was removed from that. But with that, we have rumors of Marathon making changes to the game in terms of what it actually is supposed to be. It may still be an extraction shooter, but Ziegler is actually from Valorant. And the rumors are that this is turning into more of a hero shooter type of game. Personally, I am not a fan of any type of hero shooter, really. I did play some Valorant, and I enjoyed it, but it's just not for me. Overwatch, I played it, not for me. And it seems like a very hit or miss type of game to make. So all this being said, nothing at Bungie can ever go according to plan or easy, it feels like. But it feels like in this day and age, if you don't hook, you know, a fan base from the get-go, your game is going to die. It's not like in the old days like Destiny 1 and Destiny 2 where they had time to, you know, fix the game and people would come back and they had an audience and a fan base. Now it's not like that. Even with established IPs, I mean, we see what happened to Halo Infinite. Now, all that being said, am I still looking forward to Marathon? I am. Like, I definitely want to see what it is. As a fan of Bungie games, for better or for worse... I still want, like, good games to play, and the Marathon universe, again, I think is such a cool universe. But that's just my opinion. I would love to know yours down below in the comments. I read every single comment. 
If you're new to the channel, I do mostly Halo stuff, but I will definitely be dabbling in the marathon in the future when it comes out, most likely, unless it's just like total butt. But if you want to stay up to date with anything like that or Xbox news, just anything, make sure you sub to the channel. All it takes is one click of the button. It means the world to me, and uh, I would greatly appreciate it. So leave a like on the video to help it out in the algorithm as well, and I will catch you all around the ring. Peace!